Hmm? Oh, hey there, stranger. How's it going? Did you just get done with your presentation rehearsal? Hmm? Oh, I just stopped by the front desk on my way up here and saw your name in the reservation paper for this study room. Then I remembered you saying something about getting together with your group to go over everything, so I figured they might still be up here. I'll go check. And here you are. So here I am. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> what can I say? I know you too well. So, everyone's still getting together in the commons room for game tonight, right? Or did we actually manage to snag the conference room with the projector? <laughs> Hell yeah. That's gonna make it even better. So, do we already have the first round set up? <laughs> Is that the bracket? Nice! I won't lie, I absolutely love it when you make them and print them off. It makes it look infinitely cooler than whenever we just draw it in our notebooks. It makes it easier to read too. Remember that one night when we couldn't even read what it said, so we had to remake the entire bracket because we thought it said Ezekiel in three different places? <laughs> we didn't even have an Ezekiel playing that night. Hmm. I know, she's our friend and I love her, but her handwriting looks like she learned some extra planar language and is only fluent in that. Maybe if I studied it hard enough, I'd learn how to time travel across different dimensions. <laughs> exactly. And you always add the little decorative borders around the name box things, which are the cherry on top. Oh, wait, let me see the bracket. I want to see who I'm going to be. Oh, damn it. First round and I'm up against... <sighs> yeah, yeah. I know he's new to the group, but have you seen him? It's like all the gods looked down on him and said, <clears throat> Child of prophecy, you shall be blessed with an impressive video game skills. You will have better aim than any bot of the new or old, and your melee skills will be the death of any hope in your enemy's eyes. No, no, no. I'm not exaggerating. It feels like a fight to the death every time I go up against him. Have you ever gone 1v1 versus him? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? Why did no one tell me he's on the esports team? I didn't even know our school had an esports team. <sighs> well, now I know. Let's head back to the dorm so I can prepare snacks and booze to cry into after my untimely obliteration. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you'll cry at my funeral. I'll leave you my textbooks, my student loans, and my sleep deprivation. Oh, and my flannels. Yes, <laughs> even the red one. Actually, as my dying wish, I want you to wear it to the funeral and tell everyone how I used to lend it to you whenever you wanted late night cuddles and make out suggestions. <laughs> Shut up. I wasn't even finished. I also want you to tell them how good I was and still not finished. Then I want you to cry. Like that loud soap opera crying and throw yourself over my coffin and beg me to come back to life because no one else can satisfy you like I can. <laughs> yes, all of it. If you don't do every single part of that, then you can't add the flannels or the sleep deprivation or the pineapple rum I'm bringing, which will be bitter with my tears by then. Yeah, pineapple. Someone said that they were bringing orange juice, and when I saw this at the store, I thought that it would be a good match. Uh, but I also brought some fireball, just in case it wasn't as good as I was hoping. But anyway, we can't start drinking until we're back in the dorms, so let's get to heading back. Uh, but it'll probably take a while for everyone to get there, so I'm just gonna say that we should grab some food on the way back. Up to you this time. My choice last time was... Underwhelming at best, 
borderline food poisoning at worst. <laughs> ah, a classic and a solid choice. You always know exactly what I'm craving, don't you? But I guess that makes sense since... Huh? What was that? Did someone just... It's... It's locked. Why did someone lock us in here? How did someone even get a key to the door? If you were the one using it, don't you have the key? I mean, it makes sense to have him turn in the key if he was already headed down to the front desk, but it seems like someone must have taken it from him. Wait, so that's him? Over there? The one that looks kinda punchable? And those people he's with? That's the rest of your study group? All of them over by the couches? So, do they have the... Ah, oh, yep. He's holding the keys. So it was definitely him that locked us in here. How fucking nice of him. Hello? Hello? <sighs> Assholes. So, now that we know the how... Any ideas as to why they locked us in here? <sighs> Hold on. So they think that this whole time, the reason I've been hanging around you is because I'm bullying you? Like some grade school punk? They thought I was going to insult you or beat you up or something? They locked me in here with you while actually wanting me to do something like that? <sighs> oh, those motherfuckers. They want someone to actually hurt you. They're waiting to see you get physically injured or humiliated. Who gives them the fucking right? What reason could they possibly have to pull some shit like this? Those fucking... So, they just have it out for you because you're willing to work hard to get the grades and opportunities that you want? That's such bullshit. Hey. I know you can hear me. Come on, open up. Why do they care that you have good grades? Just because you're doing better than them and getting more opportunities because you work hard for them? They should be trying harder so they can keep up with you. It's not like you luck into your grades. You actually have to study and work for it just like the rest of them do. So it's their own damn fault if you're better than them. I know they don't care. It just... It makes me mad, you know? Because they think you're a genius who never has to try for anything. They don't know how hard you have to work for everything. School doesn't come easy to you. It never has. But your determination keeps you pushing to go through with it. The only reason you're doing so well is that you put in the effort. <sighs> yeah, of course I can tell. The sheer amount of time and work you put into your assignments is borderline amazing. You've spent hours on end sitting in my lap and making me proofread your papers over your shoulder. I've had to hold textbooks open for you to read while you take notes on the assignments you did in class. Hell. You do so many study exercises that I have to bribe you to step away from your desk when you're getting stressed. <laughs> you put so much of yourself in your work that it kind of scares me sometimes, you know? I get worried that you're overdoing it and you're going to make yourself sick with stress. Honestly, sometimes I'll hit you up just to make sure you're not trying to pull another all-nighter from your assignments. Well, it works, doesn't it? Some affection and sweet nothings always relax you. You keep telling me that you get the best sleep when I'm using you as a pillow while you play with my hair. <laughs> oh, hush up. I only do it when you really need it. Like, during finals week last semester, I had to pin you to the bed before you actually put your pencil down. I mean, really. 
You almost had me pouting until you finally gave me a kiss. <laughs> well, we're both suckers for a good makeout session, so can you blame me? I mean, hell, that's how we ended up as a... Well, in the current agreement that we're in, I guess. Is that a good way to put it? <laughs> but while we're on the subject of you, me, and our relationship, what the hell are we going to do to disprove the stupidity? Don't get me wrong. I love spending time with you and no matter when and where. But we have a game tournament to get to. I also have an eight-page research paper due at midnight, <laughs> but the game comes first. Hey, and no need to get irritated with me. I brought my laptop with me, so I'll be able to work on it after I get absolutely wrecked in the first round. And you'll be there too, which is perfect for me because I'm supposed to write in historical present tense, and that always gave me a headache. You can say it's easy all you want, just like I can say you're lying all I want. It's hard and it sucks and somehow it's gonna be easier than trying to win against the video game prodigy. But at least he'll let me have the comfy blanket and play with my hair while I work on it, right? Pretty please? Oh, um... I didn't actually expect you to say yes. I mean, I'm sure as hell not going to turn down an offer that good. Your hands are absolutely magical. <clears throat> but that's not what we need to focus on right now. Right now, we need to figure out how we're going to get revenge on those jackasses. Hmm? Oh yeah. And how we're going to get out of here. But mostly the revenge. I mean, they can't just get away with this, really. The fact that they think I'd actually hurt you. Mother... <clears throat> but seriously, I want to get back at them. I want to show them that A, I'm actually not a complete ass who goes around and harasses people like some grade school bully, and B, that you are better than them. Because you are. By a lot. I just... I don't get why they thought that I, of all people, would want to hurt you. Do I seem like that much of an ass? Is that what people think when they see us together? That I'm just hanging around you so I can make you miserable? Because that's the opposite of what I want. I'm your friend. I want to build you up and make you smile. You make me feel like I'm worth the world. And I want to do the same for you. I want to make you happy. Hmm. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Since you make me happy, too. But you know what would make us both happy right now? Some nice, sweet revenge. Yep. There it is. I know that devilish twinkle in your eyes. You're game for giving them their just desserts, aren't you? Ah, uh, now that's what I like to hear. So, what are you thinking? Any ideas popping into that beautiful brain of yours? Nothing. That's fine. I think I may have an idea. Now, stick with me on this, because it's going to seem a bit wild. But they obviously think I'm bullying you, right? So, it's safe to assume that they think I intimidate you, and you are some sort of pushover, because they think we hate each other. So, why don't we prove them wrong on all accounts? <laughs> what do you mean? How? I think it's pretty obvious. Then again, your brain is probably tired from all the work you've been doing today. Lucky for you, this plan is simple and very sweet. 
so it shouldn't require too much effort on either end. You ready? Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. Think about it. You push me up against the wall, put a hand to me and keep me there as you get really close to me and get me all flustered. How I know you like. Then you kiss me while all of them watch. Let them see me get all worked up over you while we make out. I want to see how they react to a big scary troublemaker being all soft for the cute nerdy star student the next time they see you in class or the library or somewhere i want them to think about how good you look when you take charge i want them to look at you and know that you in every way can beat them and of course i am i mean I'm pretty sure, but at least I'll give them something to talk about. I mean, yes, I'll very much enjoy every second of this too, and that may have played a part into how I chose this type of revenge. <laughs> Don't try to act like you wouldn't enjoy it either, but think about it. They'd certainly think twice before trying to make a fool of you again. Or if not, at least they'll know that we're friends and won't try the specific kind of stupidity again. Hmm. <laughs> However you want. It just depends on how you want to do this. You don't waste any time, do you? Not that I mind, of course. I like it when you grab my face like this. It gives me the perfect opportunity to look at you. At your face. Your eyes. Your lips. I see you're enjoying the view as much as I am. Though, you're doing more than viewing at this point. It feels nice when you're touching my lips. It tickles but in a nice way it just makes me wanna mm. Mm. Wow. Oh. why are you moving away that felt so nice i thought you wanted it <gasps> mm. <laughs> no you're really gonna take my advice, huh? Backing me up against a table like this just so you've got me trapped. It's an even better view for the audience, though. Do you think they can tell how much I'm blushing from all the way over there? <laughs> of course I'm blushing. I've got you looking at me like that. You know, all sly and mischievous. Every single time you look at me like that. It always means that you've got something up your sleeve. You're just letting the anticipation build, so I get flustered. <sighs> of course I am. You know how embarrassed I get around you. You make me all soft and sweet. <laughs> you just make me feel like being sweet, okay? Whenever I'm around you, or you kiss me, or compliment me, I just want to be sweet. I want to be all affectionate and adoring with you. I don't know. What do you want to do with me? You know I'm fine with almost anything. What do I want? I... I want everything you want. Anything you want. I want to do for you. I want... to give you everything you desire. Everything you crave. I want to be what 
you want. Do it. Do you hear me right now? Do I sound like someone who would say no to you? If you want to kiss me, then kiss me. I'm yours to have. I mean every word. In any way you want, you can have me. <laughs> I guess you could say that just like revenge, I'm yours for the taking. Sorry, too cheesy? Yeah, it felt weird saying it. I can't tell if it sounded more sleazy or more awkward. Either way, you should probably kiss me to shut me up and shut them up too. Sorry, it's a little corny. Maybe you should go ahead and... <gasps> no. That's not what I was thinking when I said kiss me. Um, I was kind of hoping your mouth would be on mine, not your hand. <laughs> Thank you. That's much better, but really, are we going to do this? I mean, you want me to, right? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. So then, how do you want me? Mm. Mm. Oh. good it feels to kiss you. I always feel a bit dizzy and weak afterwards, but it's the good kind of dizzy that makes me feel all giggly. You make it feel so amazing. You make everything feel amazing. I love how you make me feel. I love It's nothing. Just ignore that. Really, it's nothing. Just forget it. <sighs> You're not gonna let me move until I tell you, huh? Even if I ask nicely? No? Well, it was worth a shot. Okay, just give me a minute to think about how I want to say this. So there's... There's something I've been meaning to tell you for a while now. We've been friends for a few years now, and I really enjoy our time together. I realize that I want you to become something more and after this, I can't go back to what we were. I can't just be your friends with benefits anymore. Every single word I've said is true. It's been true for a good while now. And I can't make it stop. Fuck. I've tried to stop myself from falling for you so I don't mess this up. But every time I thought I had my heart under control, You'd ask if I could come by to hang out, and I'd get weak in the knees. I couldn't say no to you. I could never turn you down. Hell. Anything you say right now, I'll follow to the letter. You say you want to go out? I'll take you on a date right now. 
You say you want to stay friends. I'd be perfectly happy with that. Or if you never want to see me again, I can do that. I'll never talk to you or message you ever again and you can block my number or whatever you want to do. I can't say it won't hurt, but for you, I'll do anything. You actually want to. You want me. <clears throat> Do you mean it? I mean, I'm happy to hear that. Happier than I can possibly begin to describe. But if you say that now and change your mind after giving me hope like this, I'll break my damn heart. So please... If you don't mean this, then don't say you want me. Are you sure? Because I can't. Does that mean we're together? As, you know, more? <laughs> Holy shit. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. <laughs> you are just so amazing and I just, I absolutely adore you. I know it's weird to ask you at this point, but can I kiss you again? I think you've gotten me hooked on you. You know, you have got me wrapped around your finger, and that's my favorite place to be. Actually, Speaking of places I like being, this study room doesn't make the top ten. We should probably find a way to get out of here so we can get back to the commons. Let's see if that study group of yours is... Oh. Did, uh... Did you see them leave? Yeah. Me neither. Well, shit. How are we gonna get out of here now? Mm. I mean, I suppose we could stay here a bit longer. If you're gonna do that again, we'll just wait until someone walks by and get their attention. But until then, let's enjoy some alone time with each other. Yeah? <laughs>